All right, so I've got three separate uh, expressions here, and I want to simplify all of them. <clears throat> okay, so for this first one, uh, nothing is to the second power. Uh, I've got some reciprocal trig function here and something that I can turn into sine and cosine. So let me do that. I'm going to get 1 over sine for the cosecant. I'm going to get a cosine, and then I'm going to get a sine over cosine. All right, so this cosine up top can cancel with that one in the bottom. This sine in the top can cancel with this sine in the bottom. And so that's going to leave me with 1 as my answer. So this first one, 1 is my answer. Well, that looks like number 1. Anyway, hopefully you saw it. For the question 1, it's A. All right. Uh, for this one, hmm, I'm kind of tempted to multiply it out, but I know I have an identity here. Uh, this is just equal to sine squared. This is probably equal to something, 1 plus cotangent squared. Let me see if I can replace that. Oh, yeah, 1 plus cotangent squared is cosecant squared. This is definitely the, uh, the strategy. All right, so the first one, uh, this first set of parentheses will turn into a sine squared. Uh, the second set of parentheses will turn into a cosecant squared. And sine and cosecant are reciprocals of each other. So you're just going to get a 1 out of this as well. All right, this is also equal to 1. <clears throat> All right, uh, last one. Uh, I could replace the tangent squared with something big and messy. Yeah, I've got I've got two cosines here, a cosine there in that term, and a cosine in this term. So let me try to factor out a cosine and see what happens. All right, if I factor out a cosine, uh, the first term is going to become tangent squared. Plus, and then the second term is just going to become a 1. And I can replace tangent squared plus 1 with a secant squared. So this is going to become cosine times secant squared, which is cosine. Whoop, I lost it. Okay, I'm back. Still recording, good. <laughs> uh, this is going to become cosine times 1 over cosine squared. So this cosine cancels with one of those, which leaves me with 1 over cosine. And that is secant, which was not an answer option but secant's the correct answer. Okay.